Hello once again and we're going to do a just a basic tutorial on how to use Hoax 64 basically a Commodore 64 emulator I've already done um, WinVice and CCS64 but this is the latest Commodore 64 emulator I'm using because I've had no problems with this whatsoever um, so let's just have a little run through it and let's have a look at some of the options um, file auto loads you can load up um, all sorts of Commodore 64 files um, hard reset soft reset you know what that does monitor don't really need to do that just uh, CPU fit details I think um, pause the pauses the emulator load and save states load and save states as you are exits the emulator tape now this is all your tape controls um, load t64 so you can load t64 files directly from here don't really need to because you can just go to all auto load you can load up any file you want so i suppose that's if you're more using a tape emulator now this is made for disk emulation so is insert your discs new blank disk if you want to create a new blank disk or something um save um right protect remove you don't really need to worry about this only if you're really thinking about saving but you can do save states anyway so this is your cartridge area if you want to put a virtual cartridge in attach detach freeze reset and these are your settings uh, maybe you want to change a few of your settings so toggle to full screen if you want to do that emulation so this is your um, general if you want to limit your speed you want it actual speed and show your speed all that now on, change the direction of your joystick uh, it's just pointless really um, so I wouldn't do anything there so video once again just leave it as standard your audio leave it floppy disk if you want to turn on your LEDs you can all that does what is on position oh, yeah, so leave it as that and your chip maybe you can change if you want to change it if you know more about the Commodore 64 I always leave them settings um, so let's go to keyboard so that you can change your keyboard mapping if you want to so click off that uh, may I just leave it as it is your joystick so here you can select um, a PC joystick or whatever import in, um, interface you got if it's USB well it has to be USB but I've got um, an old joystick well I've got an, a USB interface so whatever joystick comes up here you can use don't matter you can even put two, two in if you want you can change the axis but I always leave this no point in changing this um, double size window if you want to double the size it if you don't want full screen swap joystick ports that's very important um, just say if something's in port 2 um, the joystick's in port 2 and, and the game is in port 1 you can just swap that without doing nothing else it's good Tox maximum speed you can speed up the emulator new sound well that just turns off the sound save your settings if you change anything load settings and your help that gives you general help but basically I would just leave it just just change your um, you obviously got to change change your joystick settings um, whatever joystick you want you got to do in settings maybe basically you don't have to do a lot you just it's basically you just upload it and play not a lot you can't you want to do I mean it's pretty basic stuff really maybe change the, the screen settings but that's what I'll basically do just bit, use loads to load all your programs here um, just uh, let's just download something now you just load up obviously the disk images take uh, ages to load up tape images take a long time to load up 
Uh, maybe I would recommend T64 files, they're quick. Um, obviously cartridge files are very quick, but not a lot of cartridge files available. Um, yeah, T64 I would recommend loading up. But that's the same with emu any Commodore 64 emulator. But this one I prefer, because I've had no problems with this one. Easy to set up. Anyway, I think I'm, upload, I'm loading up a disk image here, so it's going to take forever anyway, but it is basically easy to use. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, until next time, and goodbye.